These two pieces of artwork are quite interesting to compare in terms of representations of different culture um, and the work of different artists. They're also done, completed using different art forms. So the image on the side here is by Zanelli Maholi Quinsil and her artwork is The Sails. This piece is called The Sails of Durban and it's a photograph um, and it's got a really beautiful use of colour and line. So you can see here that the artist has photographed the model against a really quite neutral background. So we've got some interesting uh, soft greys and textures going on in the background here. But they've also managed to really successfully to highlight the features of the model by using a very light lipstick and light lines over the eyes. And they draw your eye out to the, the a kind of headdress that's made out of combs um, and then your eyes drawn back down to the example that's hanging from the neck here which is a kind of miniature version done as a jewelry and it's hanging from the ear and these pieces down here are interesting because it kind of reminds me of a bath mat um, and then when you look closely it's very heavily woven and I am quite intrigued as to what this particular piece of work is so I'm interested to find out more and I can find out more by looking on the back and this is from the tape gallery um, and it gives me some information about the artist on the back here which means that should I want to find some more work I can go and have a look um, and see what kind of artwork this person does and look at different examples of photography that they've done. Um, I think it's an incredibly dramatic and very elegant and beautiful piece of work um, and I'm interested to know um, what else this artist has done that might give me some ideas. I like the idea that it's profile, it's not a straight on image. Um, I like the fact that it's a perfectly silhouetted profile. So they've worked hard to make sure that there's a good even light all over everything. This one by contrast is by this, uh, a, a collaborative pair of twin sisters who are known as the Sing Twins. And it's actually a detail of a very large piece of work. Um, and I use it quite often in art and in photography because I think it's really wonderful to represent a heritage and a combination with a contemporary um, uh, and traditional. And the Singh Twins talk about how all of their work is combining their traditional Indian heritage, um, their contemporary heritage. They, they are a migrant family who live in Liverpool. Um, and they combine all of those different things together. So everything they do is saturated with really beautiful co colours. So the detail of the man here with the clothes that he's wearing um, and um, kind of the pens and the, the equipment here suggests perhaps he's a doctor. It looks a bit like a stethoscope. Um, this fabulous beard with all these wonderful, beautiful textures and the richness of the way the skin colour has been painted. Uh, it looks very sculptural and it's also... Um, a very stark contrast to all these primary and secondary colours and patterns that are here. And you get this wonderful celebration of their historical, traditional way of working with patterns and bright, vibrant colours. And then in the middle of it is a windmill on a little hill. And below here is uh, this continues so that it's a, a house that wouldn't be out of place on any kind of Norwich nice new estate. Um, but next to that is also an Indian temple. So you have these wonderful mixtures and we've got aeroplanes coming in, but the aeroplanes being decorated all the way down the side. And their work is a real joy and celebration of the culture that they have inherited through their heritage and the culture that they live now. So for example, they are football fans. So you quite often get footballers in their artwork. Um, when you talk about artwork, you can look at the artwork itself, like this art, and you can pick out details. You can talk about pattern. You could talk about portraiture. You could talk about landscape. You could talk about abstract colours. You could talk about um, travel. On this one, you can talk about, again, culture, uh, culture and, and heritage, but you can also talk about colour and lighting and pose and texture and shape and form. And so in my book, I would have these pieces of work around and then I would fill it with spaces around the outside as one way of writing it. But I actually like to talk about artwork like this. So I would probably record myself sharing opinions to do with this work. So for today's task, choose one of the images that we've given you and tell me about it, either by writing lists or by drawing arrows or by, by sketching small pieces. So it might be that I want perhaps to 
to start to pick up these shapes here and draw a miniature version of just the figure and how he's peering in from the edge. I deliberately cropped this piece like this because I like the composition, but it's actually only about that much out of a, a, an equal shaped piece of artwork. Um, so have a go and see what you can come up with to give some ideas of, of, of you telling me about your artwork and what you like about it.